Hi there, this is Mr Evans. This video looks at economies of scope. So in previous videos I've covered economies of scale and diseconomies of scale and these are the kind of issues here related to growth. So um, economies of scale, we could define, uh, sorry, economies of scope, we could define as the benefits to a business that arise from producing a range of products. So I've got a couple of examples here of organisations that do um, uh, provide a range of products. We'll start with Apple. Um, Apple um, could just focus all of their effort on making the iPhone. The iPhone is their largest uh, stream of revenue, their largest source of revenue. Um, they could focus all of their employees, all of their production uh, facilities, their assets on producing the iPhone. But actually Apple choose to produce a range of products, the iPad, um, the MacBooks, the uh, desktop computers, uh, headphones. Apple choose to use their production facilities and their employees' skills to produce this range of products um, uh, for a variety of reasons that, that we'll look at in a minute. Equally, uh, all of these brands look very different, um, but they're actually supplied in the UK by the same company, Unilever who are an absolutely huge global company and a really uh, good example of a company that, that manages supply chains really efficiently. But these uh, different brands are an example of an economy of scope that, that Unilever is getting benefits um, from producing uh, and selling this range of products. Um, finally, schools, and, and it's related to growth. Um, you can see how it might be related to growth in terms of schools. As a school grows, it, it gains more classrooms. They're able to put on more subjects, um, and uh, that makes the school more attractive to students. So let's just have a look at why economies of scope occur. Well, economies of scope, the benefits that a business gets from producing a range of products occur because we can use the same production facility. So um, taking that school example, okay, many schools have um, sports halls and astroturfs and so on. Um, that are used for PE lessons during the day, but in the evening and at weekends, the school can use those same production facilities um, to hire out to the community and produce a revenue source for the school um, when those facilities aren't being used by the, uh, by the, the students in the school itself. So uh, Apple can, you know, you need a very similar factory for producing an iPhone, for producing a computer, um, uh, for producing uh, the other electronics that Apple provides. We, we can use those production facilities more efficiently if we were producing a range of products within them. Um, the same staff can be utilised, you know, those, those skills that, Am that Apple employees have, you know, really creative designers that produce great looking products. Why have them focusing on just one product when we can use those same staff with those same skills across a variety of products? You know, Unilever have got a great marketing team. Um, they come up with all these all the different brands. Let's use them um, more efficiently rather than just focusing on one brand. We can have them focusing across a range of brands and thus our average costs for them. Similar to the production facilities, I suppose, an organisation's technology can be used. I expect Unilever have an extremely advanced stock management system. Why would we use that with just one product um, uh, when we can use it across a range of products? You know, Unilever uh, uh, supply the supermarkets. Um, the supermarkets find it very helpful if Unilever can provide them with lots of goods and not just one. And uh, that same technology can be used to provide the PG Tips, the Domestos, and all of those other brands. Finally, we can uh, we can exploit our distribution network. So, you know, if uh, Unilever were producing just one product, um, they would need to ship that product to the uh, supermarkets in one way or another, um, but Unilever is providing a range of products. So they have a really advanced distribution network that provides the supermarkets with a range of, uh, with a range of products. The supermarket needs to take just one delivery from Unilever. Unilever um, can use their, their um, uh, delivery vehicles really, really efficiently uh, because 
they're, you know, they're, they're going to you know, be full most of the time. If it was just one product, potentially it would be empty. So we're using our resources more efficiently, basically, and that leads to a, um, oh, sorry, uh, it might be that we require the same raw materials as well. Okay, so we, we use the same raw materials. Think about Apple. It's very similar raw materials used across all of those electronics that Apple produce. Okay, so what are the benefits of um, getting economies of scope? Well, more efficient use of our resources, our staff, our factories, etc. mean that their productivity should rise, leading to lower average costs. Um, we're going to increase revenue, uh, revenues into the company and increase the number of revenue streams uh, for a business. In other words, uh, the, the products from which a, a business earns money. Um, so if we increase revenue and cut costs, you can see that's going to be uh, very handy in, in delivering more profit, uh, more satisfied shareholders, etc. Also, we should increase customer satisfaction, you know, in terms of Unilever and supermarkets. The supermarkets are going to be really pleased that they only need to deal with one supplier to deliver all of those products. You know, as an Apple customer, I know that, um, you know, if I, if I buy the iPhone and I like it, then I might buy a MacBook or the desktop computer or an iPad. So, you know, I'm, I'm extremely satisfied with those products benefits me as a consumer because I know I can trust the brand and it benefits Apple because they um, increase their revenue streams and get more money in. Finally, uh, operating across a range of brands might help to improve the brand image, boost brand awareness and you know if I'm buying a particular product, um, if I'm buying say you know if I'm on the lookout for a new computer and I'm aware that I'm really satisfied with my iPhone, maybe I'll go to Apple for um, uh, a desktop computer because I trust the brand. So economies of scope, range of benefits uh, from producing a number of different products. Oh, final one, sorry. Um, it increased the uh, risk of companies by producing across a range of markets. So um, if uh, the sales of Flora start to drop for Unilever, maybe the sales of PG Tips will start to rise and we can offset that risk.